I realize that I'm at the awful age of it's basically anytime there's going to be a fist fight, I have these two options. A, I lose and get the shit kicked out of me, which really, you know, there's no end to that. Shit kicked out of you could be I got a black eye, I lost a tufa, you know, or it could be I'm in a coma and, you know, the left side of my body doesn't work anymore. You know what I mean? You never know because you never know who you're fucking with, right? So that's option A. And option B is I win and then I get the shit suit out of me. Okay. I, I, I'm so fucking still pissed about this. I'm, I have to give you the abbreviated version of this because it's, it's been eating me up inside. Um, I was waiting for my girlfriend to come out of this diner. It's one of these places. There's only one way in and one way out. All right? So there's a parking lot, parking spot way down, which is actually closer to the fucking diner. And this douchebag is sitting there because he sees my reverse lights on. So I'm waving at him to tell him to go buy me. So I can just back out of the fucking lot. And he's just sitting there, sitting there. He wouldn't do it. So finally, you know, I pull out real fast. It's like a gravel parking lot. Slam on the brakes, slide backwards, and then fly forward, slam on the brakes. So he pulls in, obviously he knows I'm pissed. And I back up and I put the window down. I'm like, dude, there's a fucking spot right up there. And then he immediately goes, oh, you're so tough with your hybrid. And he really caught me off guard, man. He got me with a great one. He went with the hybrid. My dick is bigger than yours because I'm. he's driving a fucking lime green four-door sedan that he looked like he borrowed from his fucking aunt, right? Oh, this guy, you should, this, this fucking, you know what this guy looked like? Remember those coming-of-age movies in the 80s where there was the good-looking chick uh, that the nerd wanted and she was dating this impossible asshole like that blonde-haired douche from uh, Back to School who gets all intimidated in the end and fakes a leg injury after fucking a 90-year-old Rodney Dangerfield does a triple, triple Lindy? That's what this kid looked like. All right, and he's going, fucking blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, hey, yeah, with your fucking tight shirt and your big nose, go fuck yourself. And he's like, uh, and then he goes, ah, go back to Jersey, you piece of shit. That's what he said to me, right? And I wanted to go like, dude, I'm not from New Jersey. But my girl jumped in and said something fucking, you know, that a civilian would say rather than a comedian. So I actually started losing the argument a little bit. So then he turns around, and then I was just like, where you going? Where you going? You know, like, like I was actually going to fight him. Because I was so fucking mad. I, I, but I, in the back of my head, the whole fucking time, I'm thinking like, dude, what are you going to do? What, what, are you, what are you going to do to this guy? When was the last time you had a fight? You're fucking 41. You're a year older than Brett Favre. What are you going to do? It's, it's not even on level ground. It's in a gravel fucking parking lot. You know what I mean? I knew I could have. I, I swear to God, I know I could have fucking killed this guy. But... I, well, I can't do it. I can't, I'm, I'm gonna. I, I already. You know what would happen? I would have fucking started fighting him. Even if I started winning, his girlfriend would have jumped on my back. And then if you do any sort of get off my back with the woman, I'm going to jail. You know. I just. It was this fucking stalemate. There was nothing I could fucking do. And then I'm driving home. And all I'm thinking about is how much I want to fucking kill this guy. And it got to the point I literally dropped my girl off and I drove back to the diner. And his fucking car was still there. And I'm circling the diner in a hybrid. <laughs> Waiting for this guy to come out. Thinking about what I'm going to do to him. And then also reminding myself that I have not had a fight in about 20 fucking years. Okay? And then also reminding myself legally... The ramifications for leaving and then fucking coming back. I am in no danger whatsoever. And I am going to get the living shit suit out of me. So fortunately, a friend of mine happened to call up. And I started telling her the story. And she was laughing her ass off. And she told the story of how some girl didn't hold the door. You know, it was one of those really heavy doors. And, sort of, and it sort of slammed back in her face. And she said, thank you, you know, sarcastically to her. And then the girl goes, uh, what? I don't have to hold the door for you. Go fuck yourself. And how she just wanted to stick her Timberland through the back of this fucking chick's back, I guess. Look at me. I'm so fucking mad. I can't even say simple anatomy. So I just, she, I don't know. I was able to just kind of talk myself out of it. And the real thing was I didn't want to go back and fight the guy. I really didn't. You know what I mean? I, I really didn't. I did, but I didn't. There was just no winning. What was I going to do? You know, I got meetings this week. I'm going to show up with a loose tooth and a fucking, you know, nobody bleeds like a redhead. You know what I mean? I'm going to look like fucking Ric Flair walking in there. 
There was nothing I could do. I had to sit there and and I think I actually lost the back and forth verbal thing, you know? I'm so fucking shot from being on the road. I just got off a flight. I wanted to go straight home. My girl's like, I'm hungry. Let's get something to eat, you know? And I made a mental note to be extra nice to my girl just because I've been a, an asshole lately, you know? Which is probably why I got into the argument to begin with. But it's, it was, it, I literally, there, there's, a, there's a fucking reservoir or a lake, whatever the fuck you call it, near where I lived. This is how mad I was. After my friend talked me out of not doing what I didn't even want to do to begin with, right? Not to mention he already had another guy with him. I would have lost. I would have fucking lost, right? So um, I had to go drive to the lake, park my car, and walk around the lake. And the first 90% of the walk around it, I was fantasizing about all the different ways that I was going to murder this guy. I had one where I was body slamming him onto his own fucking car, screaming some shit about hybrids. <laughs> I completely like, I haven't been that mad in so fucking long. And uh, it wasn't until the last 10%, you know, I was kind of going like, you know, you really took this walk to try to forget about this shit. So what, what is wrong with you? You need to calm down. So I started to fucking calm down. And uh, then I saw my car again and reminded me I was driving a hybrid and it fucking pissed me off again. But dude, it's been one thing if the guy was driving a Corvette. You should have seen this car. It wasn't lime green. It was actually kind of a nice green, okay? If I can actually extend an olive branch to this fucking cunt. But I mean, it was a, it was a four-door sedan, you know? There was no excuse at his age. You know, he was like in his 20s. There was no fucking excuse for him to be driving that car. Or certainly talking shit, right? And also...